And joining us now from the School of Photographic Arts, it's Jonathan Hoban. Hello, Jonathan. Hi, thanks for having me. Nice to have you here. So, uh, lots has been going on. Lots has been going on. 13 years, the location yes. has been open, but there's been a bit of a change. Well, actually, the school uh, opened 13 years ago, but in 2016, we made the announcement that we'd be building a new facility, which mm -hmm. became the Spouse Centre. So, we opened that this past uh, November 2017, but now we've launched the Spouse Centre Gallery. Spouse Centre Gallery. So see, there's lots going on with you guys. Tons. Wow. Where exactly is the location? Where, where are you located? So we're located um, in the heart of Little Italy. There's a cross street called Pamilla. So we're pretty much almost at Preston and Pamilla. So right near Pub Italia, if you know where that is, right mm -hmm. near the light rail transit system. So we're in a great location. Okay. So can you tell us exactly what's new? And you were talking about the gallery. What, what can people expect when they, when they show up and see this brand yeah. new-ish? Yeah, area. so one thing that's really interesting is with the foundation of our organization, it started as a school, but now with the new facility, we have four aspects of our programming, and the latest is the exhibition opportunities that we have at the school. So um, we open up with this uh, with this gallery launch called the uh, for our first Canadian exhibition, which will be mm -hmm. an annual exhibition that's a partnership with the Tulip Festival and the Canada Council Art Bank. And so it's really a vital space for the city of Ottawa because it's the only critical and independent photo-based uh, and uh, video space uh, gallery in the region. Hmm. And critical meaning that unlike a commercial space, we actually have a curator in this case who selects works, thinks about photography critically, assembled an exhibition, and we pay the artist to exhibit at oh, the wow. space. Yeah. Okay, so you've got to be pretty darn good. Yes, so right now the Canadian exhibition, it's a selection of some of the best artists from across Canada, photo-based artists. Everyone from Ed Bertinsky, Shelley Nero, Angela Grauerholtz, just to name a few. So um, the partner, Canada Council Art Bank, that's the largest collection of contemporary Canadian art in the world. And so they opened up their vault to us. And so Joanna Mizgala, who's the curator of the House of Commons Heritage Collection, she is our guest curator. She made selections from their collection and challenging the notion of Canadiana. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. So for our annual Canadian exhibition, which will coincide with the launch of the Tulip Festival and become an official destination of the Tulip Festival year after year, um, closes on July 1st, so Canada Day, appropriate. Um, this is our first choice with uh, the partner of Canada Council. I okay, think. so can you tell us uh, some of the some of the photos that we're seeing here right now? Oh, so we had Rebecca Noel, who is the runner-up for La Voix this year, the uh, Quebec Voice. So mm -hmm. she sang a rendition of Case of You by Joni Mitchell. Um, but uh, here we have our guest curator, Joanna Mizgala, as well as our partners at Canada Council Art Bank. That's Amy Jenkins and Mike Steinhauer. So this is just a, uh, one of the images from our SPOW gallery we see. There's an Ebertinsky alongside a Lorraine Gilbert photograph, both renditions of, or inter artist interpretations of BC during the same 1980s time period. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a real interesting opportunity uh, for the exhibition to talk about Canadiana in a challenging way. It's not your traditional expectation, especially when you have a partner like the Tulip Festival, you're expecting sort of like scenic, postcard, idyllic imagery, and we are really challenging the notion of what is Canadiana. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, because some of this isn't what you think of as Canadiana, I guess. No, and here we have the new SPOW Center. This is our 3D rendering. We don't have our sign yet, but this is a pretty good representation of what it looks like right now. So it really becomes a vital art hub space in the city of Ottawa, and so we have an opportunity for photo enthusiasts as well as professional artists to uh, exhibit, to be educated, to participate in our free programming. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about some of the activities that are offered? Yeah, right so well, I'll, I'll finish, I mean, I should finish off the Canadian exhibition yes, to say course. that there is an opportunity just uh, on the 16th and 17th. The 16th we have our panel discussion, which is part of our free uh, public parfocal uh, lens series where we have a panel discussion with the curator as well as three of the exhibiting artists, Lorraine Gilbert, uh, Angela Grauerholtz, and um, Denis Farley. And so that's free and open to the public five to seven. Mm -hmm. Um, but also the following day on the 17th, we have public portfolio reviews. So you can go to our website, sign up, and actually show your work to um, the guest curator and artist and have them review it. Mm -hmm. um, but things that we have, we have uh, a cycle of gallery programming that happens at the school. But there's three other aspects of our programming at uh, the Spouse Center, which is our full-time diploma program. So we have a boutique 
diploma program where we only accept 16 students per year mm. and um, they have an opportunity to work in a really interesting and unique um, diploma program environment to become photo-based artists. Um, we also have continuing education classes which are evenings and weekends and they go right from beginner level to expert master classes and we have an international artist in residency program mm -hmm. so we have artists from across the world who have the opportunity to come here and for eight months they work on a project and they exhibit their work at the end in the Spouse Center Gallery. Sounds like a busy time right now. It's really busy. It's wow. exciting. Yeah. So outside of the Canadiana exhibit that's going on, uh, you're obviously planning for exhibits, future exhibits. Mm -hmm. So how would people submit their work? So uh, you can go to our website, spao.ca, and you can find links to information about the gallery. But essentially there are seven exhibitions per year. Three are tied to programming that happens at the school, but the four remaining ones celebrate the three levels of artists so we're talking about regional national and international so of those four remaining exhibitions there's opportunities to either be to submit your work for um, a solo exhibition perhaps mm. but the Canadian exhibition for instance which will happen year after year um, um, that's usually part of a collection and the international uh, exhibition will probably be a selection and hopefully a partnership with an embassy to bring an artist from a different country well, um, every year. Good to stuff. Yep. SPAO.ca. That's correct. That's the place to go to. Uh, Jonathan, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. Coming up, the Ottawa Race Weekend, of course, is this weekend. The Extra Mile Crew joins us next on Daytime.